that's what I bring to the table that the others may not, obviously. All right, let's talk about some issues uh, that are going to be important in this race. And one of them I, I mentioned earlier, which was this vote in the House on the Iran deal that, that, that the right. president uh, uh, negotiated and John Kerry negotiated with Iran. How would you have voted if you were in the House? You know, when I look at this deal, and believe me, I have looked at it, I don't call it a deal. And the reason is that foreign policy, and I will have to vote on issues like this, so I'm very glad you asked me that question. On foreign policy, our goal as a nation should be to make sure that we have foreign policy that spreads democracy, that spreads people voting for their government to have a representative republic. In the deal, not only the deal for Iran, but what we're doing with Cuba. I mean, look at those two things. Wouldn't you like to have some kind of foreign policy that extends the way that people can have a voice in their government? Right now, with the Iran deal, we can't even assure ourselves. Really allowing Iran to inspect themselves, isn't that like having the wolf guard the hen house? That's why I have, I have a problem with it. I have a problem with Cuba. Well, let's stick with Iran for just a second. Sure. So you would have voted against the deal, I'm gathering then. I would, because I would have wanted a better deal, not only for America, but for the rest of the world. What would a better deal look like? A better deal would make sure that Iran did not pursue its nuclear weapons. An Iran this that appears has to nuclear... do that, does it not? No, it appears not to me. No? You can't have unfettered um, investigation. You can't have people coming in and saying, oh, I'm going to investigate you. I'm going to find out if you're actually doing something that's wrong. You're going to allow them to have uh, preemptive notice that you're going to be there. And, John, if you go to a restaurant and you know that they are going to have fair warning a week before that the inspector gets there, do you think that they're going to get rid of the cockroaches? Do you think that they're going to make sure that all their people have nets on and gloves on and wash their hands? Of course they well, are. But this is, this is the, the, the analogy a lot of people are using, this restaurant analogy, which is nonsense because the difference with, here, with, with, with a nuclear deal is that there will be some traces of the nuclear material, which is the argument, I'm playing devil's advocate here, yes. of course, which is the argument why the 24-day period is no big deal because you would still be able to tell uh, the energy Secretary Ernest Moniz was on this program talking about that. He's a, he's a, he's a nuclear physicist. I think he gets this stuff. He says there would still be traces. You could never hide it. You don't buy that? Well, the reason I don't buy that is are we going to be given unfettered, unfettered investigation and access to all of the facilities? And that's where the nitty gritty comes. Well, what if that wasn't possible to obtain in this deal? Do you walk away if you can't get? Because they did promise, you're right about this, they did say anytime, anywhere inspections is what they were looking for. Then this came out, the 24 days is clearly not there. But what if that's the best they could get? Should they have walked away? No, they should have negotiated better. So they didn't negotiate a very good deal. You know, it's interesting uh, because... Uh,